Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're Turn doing the fan and listen. A little bit. Oh, wrong button. Anyway, folks, thanks for stopping by. It's a crisp, icy morning here in Retford on Tuesday the 12th of December. And it's been over a week since my last upload. So here is a bit of a catch up. Just driving back to Retford. I'm taking a little bit of a risk. The 22 miles in the tank. Just outside Newark. I'm using this lorry in front to punch a hole in the air. Yep. To try a real and limp there. back so you know it's to Redford to the petrol control. station. Stings the nostrils. Don't know what that means. In a good way. Yeah. Just a couple of miles yeah. out. Honestly, that smells like pure gas Please make it. Sixty percent of the time, it works. Can see the petrol it station. Works. That doesn't make sense. Come on. Holy schmoly. Oh no, there's a huge queue. Oh no! No! This is not good. This is not good at all. Come on. Oh, thank God. 733 baby. Right, I finished the roller mill project. So the next job is we're gonna put to, put to bed the electrical faults that I had brewing on the weekend with the homebrew equipment. So so the 50 litre do 40 litre batches in it, but the 50 litre boil kettle, the electrics on this, whilst sound for me, may not exactly pass what the HSE would consider sound. Look at this clip. Fucking risk taker IPA, Barbie. Woohoo! <laughs> sparky, sparky! Sparky, sparky! <laughs> and then I come and run in. Realising I've left it on full blast. Yes. We've had a blowout. Well, that's what brewing's all about, isn't it? Cleaning up. So my job is now to take this offending box back off. Change out any fittings on here while I'm doing it. I may as well change out anything that's brass or copper for stainless steel if I've got it and upgrade the cables and the connectors to something a little bit more suitable. So for the power cable I've gone for this rubber which is heat resistant a four millimeter square three core this will easily carry all of the power that I need it to uh, I wonder if it's got a temperature rating written on it No, not that I can see, but I do know that this is sort of rated up to 120 degrees C or something like that. It's not PVC, it's actually rubber. And for the connectors, I've ordered some 32 amp uh, appliance inlets and trailing sockets. Relatively cheap as well. 31 quid for the sockets. We've got some cable glands as well. I don't know if that cable will fit in them. And I think 20 quid for the cable, something like that.
a one-man machine, baby. Fitted that floor. Fitted that floor, but it's dark in there. I'm sick of the ceiling. Ooh. I imagine you find it incredible. Put a picture in here. Not very pretty. So now I've got four sheets of ply down, a couple of cuts to put down on this edge here, and then we'll be ready to lay a bit of underlay. Piece of carpet. I'll probably paint the walls first. Probably paint the walls first and finish the ceiling. And uh, then a piece of carpet, and then some furniture, and then some heating, and then a TV, and a computer, and the kids can play in here after school when I pick them up and come back to work. Problemo solvedo. <laughs> Can I have a moment to your time, please, uh, ladies and gentlemen? The reason that we're here today is to present the brew shed, I nearly said beer heads then, <laughs> uh, to present the brew shed with the autumn pub of the season. Um, I believe I'm right in saying August was when it opened. That's right. August 1st. Yeah. It open, opened August and I, I think it's made tremendous strides in that time. So much that on this boat, we had 28 votes and 20 were for the beer shed for the pull of the season. And it shows how the um, regulars do appreciate um, what you're doing here. Can we do that again, Dave, with radio off? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to uh, keep you all. I will present Stuart with that. Thank you very much. Well done, Stuart. Well done guys, well done. I'm about to thank my mother and father for not being here. I want to thank the customers for coming in because we're going to do one part of it, the other part is customers coming in making the pub their own place around the house. So may it continue and people carrying over in and enjoying the time in the brew shed. Thank you. 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 Thank you.